ただいまより、原子力事故後の工場性モニタリングの長期戦略に関する国際専門家グループと、県民健康調査検討委員及び工場線検査評価会議との意見交換会を始めさせていただきます。昨年4月に WHO 国際がん研究機関から、今後仮に公衆が放射線に被爆するような事故が起きた際の、工場線モニタリングの長期戦略に関する国際専門家グループを立ち上げるというご提案が加盟各国に出されました。昨年10月に第1回の国際専門家グループ会議が開催され、現在も引き続き検討が行われていると承知しています。国際専門家グループは、甲状腺がんの疫薬や自然史及び臨床管理に関する最新の科学的知見を整理し、加盟各国の政策担当者、医療関係者等に対して、その科学的知見を情報提供されるとともに、甲状腺モニタリングの長期戦略に関する助言をされるものと理解しております。一方東京電力株式会社福島第一原子力発電所事故後の健康影響につきましては、国際的な科学的知見も参考にしながら、県民健康調査検討委員会において継続してご議論されております。甲状腺検査評価部会において、本格検査の評価が始まったところであり、その結果を踏まえて、今後のあり方も議論されるものと思います。国際専門家グループと県民健康調査検討委員会は、それぞれ別の目的で行われていますが、国際専門家グループが福島を視察されるこの機会に、専門家の皆様が最新の国際的な科学的知見を相互に共有できる場を持つことが重要と考えております。また、そのご知見を正確に分かりやすく国民にお伝えすることも重要であると考えております。どうぞこの機会に活発な意見の交換、知見の共有を図っていただければ、法人にございます。本日はどうぞよろしくお願いいたします。Which is the Cancer Research、uh, Agency of the World Health Organization,、uh, located in Lyon, in France. And、uh, also on behalf of this、uh, international expert group that we have convened、uh, with a very specific、uh, task, namely to develop、uh, recommendations and guidelines. Of how the country should best deal with、uh, thyroid monitoring in case of a nuclear accident. And I'm specifically stressing this title here to distinguish it from the work that the Fukushima Oversight Committee is doing. So we are not doing an evaluation of the situation in Fukushima, but it's very important for us to understand the professional dealing and the experience that you made with the accidents. To define our forward looking recommendations of how to deal with nuclear accidents in the future. And of course, while we all wish that perhaps these recommendations that we prepare will never be used, we all know it's better to be prepared than being sorry. And this is an important element、uh, in the preparedness for nuclear accidents because we know from the accident in Chernobyl that thyroid cancer is one of the well established and documented. Uh, adverse health effects resulting from exposure to ionizing、uh, radiation. So it's important to、uh, prepare these recommendations, taking into account、uh, the local situation. And for this, we develop global guidelines informed by all the knowledge that we can gather that comes from the nuclear accident, but it also comes from screening activities、uh, done on thyroid cancer in countries not affected by nuclear accidents. But what we know about the cause of the disease of thyroid cancer in general, how to treat it, how to do the patient management, to come up with the best suggestions and、uh, hopefully being of use、uh, for the countries to have these guidelines,、uh, uh, as I said, in the radiation preparedness. So we really welcome this opportunity to directly、uh, discuss and exchange. Uh, Uh, in the morning, we were visiting Fukushima Medical University, seeing the site, which was very informative for us, and also now this afternoon session、uh, with the Fukushima Oversight、uh, Committee to exchange opinions、uh, of where we are standing、uh, with the science. So, I'm very thankful, first of all, to the Ministry of the Environment for uh, uh, supporting us,、uh, for having uh, this uh, 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 meeting here、uh, in Fukushima.、Uh, I'm also thankful for the Fukushima Prefecture 
that is also supporting this afternoon session. I'm very thankful to the Nuclear Safety Radiation Association that uh, has done all the practical arrangements uh, uh, for this meeting. And of course, I'm very thankful uh, to, to all the experts from our expert group. And I can tell you that the entire expert group uh, actually managed to come uh, for this uh, site visit and uh, you have the attendance list and you see it's a broad expertise reaching from radiation uh, research, radiation dosimetry, radiation epidemiology, people having experience with previous nuclear accidents, but also people dealing with screening in general and uh, of course clinicians and researchers working on thyroid cancer, the management of thyroid cancer in general. With this broad expertise we hope to develop uh, very clear recommendations uh, in the future. So as already said, uh, the plan is that, that we have prepared uh, four uh, short presentations that again are not dealing with the Fukushima accident specifically, but are rather broad, also feeding into our recommendations, uh, dealing with uh, uh, framework policy on cancer screening in general, that this is not only specific to thyroid cancer, but really uh, with the aim to reduce cancer mortality, uh, how uh, uh, harms and benefits of screening can be strictly defined. We have uh, a presentation on thyroid cancer in general, the molecular uh, pathology and uh, natural history, and uh, we have uh, uh, two presentations uh, dealing uh, uh, with uh, patients diagnosed with thyroid cancer and uh, their treatment, follow-up and uh, surveillance. And uh, uh, we really appreciate that this is a public meeting because I think uh, this is beneficial that, that uh, everybody can listen to the discussions among the scientists and uh, uh, also for the transparency of the discussion. Nevertheless, I have to warn you a little bit that this still will be scientific presentations uh, for the sake of also informing each other with the Fukushima Oversight Committee. And I'm also very thankful for you to give us the opportunity to discuss with you, and uh, in this I wish all of us a very successful um, conference. The two guns are very important. 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 まあ、もちろん、がん、あの、甲状腺がんで亡くなる方もたくさんいらっしゃいます。ただ、非常にその他の、こう。重いがんに比べては、あの、予後、予後っていうのは、あの、結果がいい。それほどの多くの人が亡くなるわけではありません。で、そうすると、その、甲状腺がんっていう、独特の問題と、それと、えー。がんの検診、がんのスクリーニングという独特の問題、えー、あの専門家の間でも大きく意見が分かれるような問題が2つこれ重なっちゃってるんですね甲状腺がんのスクリーニングとなると2つ重なってでもう一つ言わせていただくとさらに福島の場合は,の場合は、えー、非常にもともとが放射線が出たことがある県民がすごく不安に思われてというところがスタートですそうすると非常にあの解決できない分解決できないとは言いませんがあの解決難しい専門家の意見が分かれる問題が3つ重なっているのがこの問題ですで今日はあの、えー、海外からいらっしゃった専門家の人たちは、えー、とこスクリーニングに非常に詳しい方と甲状腺がんに詳しい方がいらっしゃって。えーまあ、意見を公開したわけですけれども、あのまあえー、その通りだよねっていう、非常に、えー、ベースを確認した部分もありましたし、えー、特に甲状腺がんに関しては、その見つかった人に対してどう対応していくか、つまり、えー、見つかったからっていって、もうすぐさま手術をしないといけないとか、そういうことではないので、ただ、患者さんは非常に心配です。甲状腺がんだなんて言われてでもしばらくほっときましょうとか見てましょうって言われると大丈夫なのかなと思うわけですねでそこをどう対応していくべきなのかっていうようなことが中心に話し合われたわけですけれどもあのいろいろな
試みが栄えているのかなということが分かったのは非常に良かったと思います。で、えー、まあ非常に有意義でした一言で言って非常に有意義な会議でした。で、えー、そこで福島の特殊な問題つまり大阪線がということと県民の不安が非常に強かったと、まあ、今でも強かったくさんでそういうところにもう一段問題が難しいんですけれどもそこに関してはいろいろ議論しましたけれども、えー、IARC の専門家も意見があるわけではないわけですねあのそれは難しい問題で彼らはむしろそれを、まあ、どう日本がどうなるかを知りたいと。いうような感じであったというふうに、これはもう私の個人的な、あの感想ですけれども、そういうスタンスだったなというふうに思いました。はい、えっ、ー、と、以上でよろしいでしょうか。すみません、ちょっとご質問の方は、お時間の方は。はい。The purpose for for the meeting from our side is what I explained in what the purpose of our project is. So our project is forward looking.、Uh, we want to.、Um, Improve the preparedness in case of future nuclear accidents and uh, uh, thyroid cancer is one of the well documented possible outcomes after a nuclear accident. And we feel now, with the experience that has been made in Fukushima, also in Chernobyl, we can give proactively recommendations how countries can prepare themselves better for these situations by taking countermeasures. Perhaps even before any accident happens, compared to having to react after the accident. So、uh, the agency was also part of the Shamisen project,、uh, as well as the World Health Organization. So the goal of this project is more an in-depth. It's a kind of continuation, more in-depth uh, uh, evidence uh, interpretation of one very specific. Question: The Shamisen project was much broader,、mm-hmm. so we are looking more specifically, really, at thyroid examinations.、Uh, but uh, uh, there's an overlap both in the experts and uh, uh, also in、uh, in the scope of the project.、Uh, but this one is really、uh, targeted at being very detailed on what we recommend for the thyroid examination, embedded in the overall preparedness、uh, for a nuclear accident.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> One further comment. So, as you have seen from our expert group,、uh, a lot of them are clinicians,、uh, pediatricians. So, we add also very specifically the patient perspective and the perspective of the professionals dealing with the patients, which is uh, uh, an important extension of Shamisen.、Uh, mm-hmm. Well, we are still in the progress of、uh, looking at the evidence more specifically, and as I said, also taking the clinical perspective more as a focus. So, it can be that our recommendations will be very similar to what、uh, Shamisen recommended, but then based on、uh, overall broader evidence assessment, so it strengthens the recommendations of Shamisen. But it can be also that perhaps in some of the aspects we would deviate a little bit. But this is really depending on the evaluation, and at the, middle, at the moment we are in the middle of this process. It's I, I really don't want to predict the outcome at、uh, this stage, and、uh, I must really say that the visit、uh, here in Fukushima and uh, and uh, seeing the site is, is 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 key to our evaluation because the only experience of mass screening after an accident is coming here from Fukushima, and it's 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 many aspects. I mean, we are we are dealing with humans that are really anxious after an accident, which is. Entirely understandable, and 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 also we want to be in charge of、uh, of medical decisions that people make based on the evidence.、Mm-hmm. So screening, yes or not, may maybe not be even a yes or no question. There, there can be something in between that perhaps you you offer you offer something for 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 people that are particularly concerned. You offer educational programs. Uh, so, so there's a lot of variety, and at the moment, I, I, I really don't want to predict the outcome because we're just in the middle、yeah. of、uh, of this process.、Yeah. Hmm. I mean,、uh, clearly, our project will not be an evaluation of the ongoing Fukushima program, because for this we would have put together probably also a different expert group with more radiation specialists than than than, than the one that we have done. So, so really, the scope 
is using the Fukushima experiments for making forward-looking recommendations and by adding a lot of the clinical perspective, also to make sure that people seeking help get the necessary qualified medical assistance and that this is in place of, of, uh, of, of such an accident. So clearly our, our, our report will not include any recommendation of how to continue the screening in Fukushima. This is, this is not the scope of this project. For this, there's also the respective uh, uh, radiation communities, uh, uh, UNSCARE, for instance, ICRP. So our scope is really forward-looking, try to collect all the evidence in case of another accident that hopefully never happens. <laughs> but if it happens, be better prepared in a way and for this using all the evidence we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, uh, we have much less uh, uh, direct data on children that we do have for the adults and, mm -hmm. and that's a limitation. Yeah. Right. Mm. I mean, there's clearly the distinction we have to make, which I said earlier that between the cancer screening intended to reduce the cancer mortality in the general population compared to that here you're doing a, the thyroid monitoring because it might be that due to the accident you would have an excess of thyroid cancer if doses were high enough. So, so, so that's clearly a distinction in the topic. However, if you start implementing a mass screening, many of the benefits and the harms apply, of course, in the same way. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you would not have started any uh, uh, mass screening or thyroid cancer in the Fukushima prefecture if there had not been the accident. So, so, so in a way, this is also not a question that, that we can ask ourselves, because it's not a kind of voluntary decision. The accident has happened, and then you have to react. And the question is, is a mass screening an appropriate reaction due to this accident, or is it not? And that is really the question that we try to evaluate uh, uh, in this uh, uh, project. But uh, as said earlier, we are in the middle of, uh, of, uh, of collecting the data, and uh, the answer you will hopefully have in April. So it's um, not only the evidence from the nuclear accident. So as you have seen, we have, uh, uh, we have people involved in the aftermath of the Chernobyl accident uh, in our group. Uh, now we have this uh, site visit in Fukushima because this is one of the richest uh, uh, database we have so far. But, but this is also why we included the pediatric oncologists and, and uh, thyroid cancer experts to add the experience that you have on thyroid cancer screening outside any nuclear accident. And I think the, the example of South Korea is, uh, in a way, even when it's adults and not children, uh, is also valuable data that, that, uh, that mm -hmm. has to play a role. Also the developments uh, that you see in the US, uh, so how do you deal with the patients, the question of active surveillance compared to treatment. So we, we, we really try to collect all available sources for the evaluation mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, uh, a recommendation. And we also want to put these recommendations in a wider context of uh, overall preparedness for nuclear accidents. I mean, there's also the question of the uh, uh, thyroid blocking with iodine, that, that uh, the respective medication is available. Can you be proactive by, for instance, even educating the population before any accident happens? So these are all kind of questions that we also like to address in our report. All right.